a minute, huh? We got the pyro. Yo, what's up, guys? I'm Black Hero, and in this video, we're going to be talking about Paimon's Bargains December 2020 or December 2020 Paimon's Bargains. That's right, we're gonna see all the new items that are in the shop and as well as a quick overview of what was the shop last month and then uh, i got bennett last month so that's also going to be up for discussion later and then also i'm going to discuss uh, how to get star glitter all right so just just really quick just really quick how to get uh, a star Glitter. So we're gonna do a showcase again of Paimon's Bargains December 20. Oh, actually, no, it's the other way around. December 2020 showcase of Paimon's Bargains. All right, let's go into the game. So as you guys can see, server just resetted. I got my Welkin Moon. Double click to skip. You get the juicy 90 Prima gems. Wonderful. All right. So as you guys saw there, I got Bennett just three minutes ago. Pretty much. All right. So let's go to shop. And then let's go to uh, Paimon's Bargains and alright, so this is the same, alright, and okay, so we're gonna get Barbara, okay, alright, alright, so for those of you who are close to C6, right, because we've been getting a lot of Barbaras, thank you, thank you, Mihoyo, Kaya's up too, alright, that's interesting, so Barbara and Kaya, alright, so we got the Royal Set, Alright, so we got the Royal Longsword. No, what do these what does the Royal Longsword do? Alright. So it's attack. And then its base attack is 40. Okay. So I think the uh, their uh, their their substats or their main stats are attack. Yeah, okay. They're all attack. Alright, so what does it do? Upon damaging an opponent, increases crit rate by 8%. Max five stacks. A crit a crit hit removes all stacks. Yo, this is actually an interesting passive because you know, this is going to obviously increase over time. So yeah, I was honestly thinking that we're going to get the Black Cliffs because you'll only get three a month. So you're going to have to actually wait for the next rotation for the Black Cliffs. If every, if someone did actually buy all three of them to max refine them to R5 because they are not here anymore. It's a different set and you can only get three as well. So you can't max refine these items right off the bat. All right, you're going to have to wait for the next rotation. If that's your plan, all right. So just keep that in mind, all right. So the interesting thing about these are, I'm pretty sure all their passives are somewhat the same. Yeah, upon damaging an opponent, increase crit rate by eight percent. Upon damaging an opponent, increase crit rate by eight percent. Increase crit rate by eight percent. Oh, five percent. Okay. Oh wait, no, it's max five. And uh, increase crit rate by eight percent. So yeah, the interesting about this is that. All right, think about this. Think about this. All right, you can build. All right, normally when you have a crit rate to crit damage ratio, it's one is to two. One crit rate is equal to two crit damage. But for this, you can play a little. You can be more flexible. You can increase the crit damage. All right, so for example, let's say you want a one is to two, right? So you have your crit damage, right, at 100. Ideally, you want to have it at, what, 50? right but with this case right you can have your crit rate at 10. why because at max of five stacks right that's basically eight percent times five and the eight percent actually goes up but assuming you're at refinement rack one then that's already 40 percent all right 40 percent plus your 10 percent is 50 and then your crit damage is 100 so if your base all right, without the sword, it's just 10% crit rate and then 100% crit damage. With this sword, it'll actually work, all right? All right, so that's actually good to know. So I'm pretty sure that what actually changes with uh, these other types of weapons is the base attack, right? So this is 44 base attack on the claymore. For the polearm, it's 44. For the catalyst, it's 44 as well. And for the bow, it's... 42 okay so as for characters who would be really good with these weapons um yeah we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna research that and yeah honestly i don't know <laughs> all right so aside from that i think everything else is the same you got the lieutenant's insignia these you know common ascension or materials all right for stardust i think it's also relatively the same ideally you want to buy this out all right as this as well as this all right if you have the star glitter from the last month of you know 
making wishes. And then as well as Mora, alright, worst case scenario if you're out of Mora and then you already bought all the star the all the intertwined fate and the queen fate, then go ahead. Alright, I highly recommend just saving these because again, alright, when the next month comes over, you're gonna spend a total of seven hundred no, eight hundred fifty. Alright, is my math right? 375 times 2, is that 850? If I'm wrong, then then rip. Okay, so yeah, this is pretty much the December 2020 Paimon's Bargains. Uh, so yeah, say goodbye to Bennett if you guys didn't get Bennett. Alright, we got now, we have now the option to get Babara or Kaya. Awesome, awesome. So if we go to Paimon's Bargain here, so which is in shop, you know, Paimon's Bargain is the best place to get the stuff that you gotta get, right? So, you know, if you go to Starglear Exchange, this is Paimon's Bargains November 2020. Uh, item shop, I guess that's what you can say. So yeah, we got the five intertwined fate, the queen fate that is limited. If you can buy as many as you want, they cost five star glitter. By the way, guys, you know, star glitter is a currency that you get from getting, from w making wishes and getting dupes. As you can see, there is only three minutes left with the November 2020 Paimon's Bargains. So yeah, we're going to do a really quick showcase. We got Bennett, we got Lisa. We got three Black Cliff Longswords, three Black Cliff Slashers, three, three Black Cliff Poles, and three Black Cliff Amulets, and of course, three Black Cliff Warbows. Alright, so if you wanted any one of those, then, uh, you know, you, I don't know, maybe we're going to see it in November, alright? Maybe, you already saw it, probably. Alright, and then you got the Black Cliff Crystal Horn, I mean, Black Crystal Horn, Leyline Sprout, you know, all these items that I highly recommend you don't get, alright? And then, you know, Stardust Exchange, the normal stuff again. Don't get these except the five Intertwined Fates and then the five Acquaint Fates, alright? These are probably the only ones you need. If you're really short on Mora, maybe, just maybe, but highly, highly don't recommend it. Alright, so... Uh, as with this video, as you may already know, I have around five, no, six reasons why I'm going to actually purchase Bennett here, alright? Star Glitter is not an easy resource, especially for free-to-play players. I'll tell you why in a minute, but, but, um, alright, let's actually just do it before the time actually runs out. So there you guys have it, Bennett, huh? We got the Pyro one hand sword user that is awesome so yeah there's five reasons why i got this character he's he i'm like he doesn't he he looks really cool he, you know he has that quirk you know similar to that you know of amber i guess in a sense in a sense right so the one reason is the pyro resonance all right the pyro resonance with Diluc, my man Diluc. all right i have Diluc. he's one of my main pyro characters and then you know just the resonance with the 25 percent extra is just really really awesome all right number two is expeditions you know just like fischl all right and chung yun you get 25 percent less time in expeditions in mondstadt number three he's also he's a healer and a buffer all right that that's really cool number four tartalia all right plus bennett equals vaporize that's a really cool combo number five i just gotta catch him all all right so i don't have bennett yet this is my first bennett so, alright, that's one character down. And number six is his Kame. Kame. Yeah, that's pretty much, there's no ha. It really ends really fast. So yeah, that's why I'm getting Bennett. Alright, so I want to talk about Star Glitter really quick, okay? So how you get Star Glitter, it's really simple, barely an inconvenience. So yeah, this is Star Glitter, right? Now, I have two. Alright, it's called Masterless Star Glitter. I, 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 I pronounce them as SG, alright? Because, you know, Star Glitter. Anyway, yeah, so Masterless Star Glitter. The way you get this is by wishing for duplicates. So if you get a duplicate four star, say you already have say you know Shinyan because you're just gonna be coming up tomorrow I can't wait uh so you have a dupe Shinyan all right the next dupe you'll get the duplicate Shinyan plus two star glitter if you have max constellation Shinyan so she's already at c6 that means you've pulled seven Shinyans within the course of your gaming career then the next Shinyan you pull will be will yield you five star glitter all right so that's that's the that's with the four stars for the five stars if you get a five star there's no star glitter all right but if you get a dupe five star of the same character hence dupe 
uh, then you get 10 star glitter, all right, which is beautiful. Right? That's, that's pretty much a lot, all right. And then you have max constellation, <laughs> five star, right? To all you whales out there, I'm winking, all right. Uh, you get 25 star glitter, right? So if you pull, say, for instance, if someone, whoever is going for Seven Zonglis, because you know you get one Zongli plus six more for the max constellation. All right, I applaud you. <laughs> you are amazingly just amazing. All right, anyway, yeah, if you get another Zongli after that, you're guaranteed 25 star glitter. So here's a quick summary or, or somewhere of whatever I just said. And yeah, that's pretty much how you get star glitter in this game. All right, awesome. All right, so we've got Bennett on our squad. Hey, welcome to the team. All right, let's do your one reason why I wanted him. Wait, no, 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 no. <laughs> yeah, right, I messed that up. All right, let's go, Bennett. Let's go. Come I just, I just love it. I just love it. All right, so yeah, we got Bennett now. That's awesome. So. I'm happy. I'm right. I'm happy. All right. Like I said, guys, we want to catch him up. All right. If we can go to a character archive, I only need for the four stars. Right. For the four stars, it's amazing. Honestly. All right. Chengyun, Razor. Right. All right. Right. And Xinyan. Right. Oh. Those are the three characters I need to complete my four star Genshin Dex. <laughs> Lol. And Ironically, all right, coincidentally, all right, in the next upcoming character event banner, along with Zhang Li, we're gonna actually get Chong Yun, right, Razor, and Xin Yan. All right, what a Kawanka tank! All right, so yeah, make sure to 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 subscribe for more stuff because I'm gonna be going live getting those awesome characters so watch out for that anyway guys hopefully you guys did enjoy this video found something useful out of this and then until next time see ya sold for 34 star glitter 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 all right Barbara royal okay all right all right all right okay let's do this let's do this Okay, we'll start off with this server reset. Blah blah blah. 